Hendego and BC, welcome back. You can say. No. You need it. No. Oh, such a pleasure. She's everything, isn't she? Hi, Diana. We're just waiting for DB to come back. There she is. Uh, uh. Oh, perfect. Good. Good vibes. Right, sis. I told you that I'm coming back with the hard questions. Yes. And I'm bringing it. And this is going to be a space of um, pain for both of us and for the people who are listening. So, and I quote in, in, um, in uh, Shimmerenga, you've got, I'm, I'm, I'm reading off the page for everybody who's watching. Then came the time of the warring ones who killed their neighbors, their sisters, their sons from village to village. They plundered and raped, forgetting prophecy's fate. They built great big birds of the seas, then packed their brothers and sisters beneath. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to talk about it. You know, of course, there is, they built great big birds of the seas, and that is an indication really of the transatlantic trade. We do quite often talk about um, the white perpetrators, but we don't talk about the complicitness of our fathers and forefathers in 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 and 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 mothers and grandmothers and and so forth in in bringing in the trade in the slave trade and in having my people who are your people go to the caribbean go to the americas go all over yeah. i want us to have this conversation like how do we get as far as you're concerned, how do we get into a space where we have this conversation and we get to a place of healing where there isn't, uh, where we can realize that in spite of everything that happens, we also have, we who are here have to atone to you who went. But we also then have to get into a space where we say, how do we work together and be together? Because I think sometimes these very rifts divide us even when we have a common problem. Well, you know what's incredible, Zafi? This is what's incredible. Mm. I don't have to look very far for answer to that question because who are the members of my communities? Who am I working with? Who have I been living and loving with? I don't have mm. to look far for the answer. The reality is our relationship, all the relationships that I have with my peoples who are on the continent or who were born on the continent is an example of how to heal. It's not a far mm. look, Zuki. First of all, mm. just an acknowledgement amongst us of what happened is the very beginning of healing. Just that, just acknowledging yeah. what's happened. That's one thing. And then acknowledging Acknowledging the complexity of the system of enslavement is another. And then acknowledging, yes, acknowledging how that system continues to perpetuate itself and recognizing that we are ultimately in solidarity. Those are the steps. That's it. It only becomes mm. problematic when there is no acknowledgement of what happened. That's only when it becomes problematic. And my experience has been, my experience of multiple parts of the continent has been meeting with the freedom fighters, the revolutionaries, the practitioners, the teachers, the artists, the educators, the people on the ground like yourself who are very clear about our our collective commitment 
to global decolonization and in particular the decolonization of black people's territories so mm. it's not a difficult for me it's not a it is not a difficult conversation and it, and the steps are not difficult because of the solidarity and the the clarity around our collective acknowledgement of what has occurred what continues to occur occur and our commitment to continuing to fight against oppression since the first black person was enslaved and put on a ship and and forcibly brought to the americas not difficult for me not at all okay all right do you think um and and this is something that we 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 came up with this quite a lot of people who've been on this forum and we reached out to quite a few people also outside uh writers um and uh in in light of the George Floyd uh killing and uh we did a letter an open letter and the letter requested you know or rather demanded that the African Union um right. not only recognize the 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 Americas you know our relatives in the Americas but also um in the same way um consider allowing them to be able to have citizenship on the continent in the same way and i think i had a conversation with my 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 mother sister who's zimbabwean and she stays in the states and i say to her you've got american citizenship but you also can look back and say i can go to zimbabwe and i would like you know i imagine do you think that this is something that would be like like something that needs to be done perhaps as 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 a way of like you know what it's not just an acknowledgement let's have more than an acknowledgement let's let's work at it you know let's say we are a people yeah i think it's coming to be ghana had already acknowledged mm. nigeria for the the year mm. i'm not sure if nigeria is i think nigeria is on their way to doing that work as well if they haven't already done it I'm just not up on the news. So Zuki, I mean Sierra Leone is comprised of Africans who were brought to Jamaica, brought to Canada, then brought back to Sierra Leone. I'm also I choose to be very hopeful and optimistic with action, with mm. action. Right? So mm. not just hopeful and absolutely with action. Our freedom struggles are old, Zuki. Long, 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 long. And when I think about who's come before me and what they have done in terms of laying their bodies on the line for the changes that have made been made, I'm not saying we're not by any stretch in a perfect place at all. But Zuki, I cannot pretend that I don't benefit. from the freedom struggles mm. that have happened before I was born. Mm. Zuki, I can't pretend. I cannot okay. pretend that freedom struggles Absolutely. on the continent have been impacted my my ability my 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 the way that I experience my blackness. I am completely mm. impacted. My life changed by continental and diaspora freedom struggles. So what does this say to me, Zuki? It says to me that if i play my part i have a part mm. that's how i see it zuki that's how i choose to see it so i do believe we are moving towards a place where our different spaces on the african continent will heal and grow to re-embody the blackness of the diaspora i do believe so i do i choose to believe that okay. you know the day next tough question commitment committed to that hope mm. as we should all be committed to it next tough question since the days of Toussaint Louverture since the days of Harriet Tubman since the days of you know 
many many different women in history and different different men in history different black people in history uh there has always been the narrative of let's get the revolution first let's let's get the change let's get in power and this is always at the expense of black women uh-huh always or the erasure of black women my question then to you is when do we say all black lives matter and not black men's lives matter cis black men's lives matter when do we when do we get into that space what conver- what conversations do we need to have with our brothers so that they don't say oh, oh no let's let's fight let's fight let's fight racism first and then we can we can come and fight patriarchy later what do we need yeah. to do to get into that space just you know and mountainous as the tapestry of the world why am i saying that i'm saying that because at different places different locations in the world there are different proximities to what you're saying so for example the black lives matter movement within north america is led was started by black queer and friends mm. mm. ab mm. so doubt who is at the front lines of the movement in a mm. yeah absolutely mm. people women so what i'm saying is I know that as a Jamaican in Jamaica we are navigating and very courageously so for example the queer community navigating making space mm. very courageously and, and people bodies on the line take mm. say that that that's not necessarily the same image of leadership necessarily mm. that is in let's say america so what i'm saying is that different location there are different nuanced conversations that are happening mm. homophobia patriarchy the phobia the, the the fact that mm. black women are relegated to the back the conversation right now is about centering mm. black queer women trans people mm. that's what i observe. Mm. Mm. Thank you.
GB, one question. Uh, real quick, real, real quick question. DB, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. DB, how far are you from your router? Your voice keeps cutting. How far are you from your Wi Fi router? Your voice keeps cutting. It keeps cutting. How far are you from your router? From your from your Wi Fi router? Are you far away? You keep you keep getting disconnected. So your voice comes disjointed. And we feel robbed. <laughs> Thank you, Lit Mag. Thank you, Sebo Lit Mag, for that. DB, I've just removed you, and then um, I am hoping that you'll be able to get to a space where you have better network, and then, yeah, let's see how this works. Let's try again. Yes, Khadija, I know. That's why I said serve a little Can you hear me? I know it's you. DB, let's test you. Let's test you again. Can you hear me? Ah, now? yeah. Now we can hear you. Yeah? Okay. I hear something. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you were you were you were you were talking about um, how there is the talk on on, on, on 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 there's a centering of trans women at the moment, and uh, Khadija, please can you pass on the the ebook again? I'm sorry, I think we might have lost it. For those who want to, a memoir of Black Lives Matter, I think it was. Um, but yeah, and you were talking about how, but I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm talking about. I'm thinking about it on a on a on a on a more, you know. So when you have it like the the certain certainly certain places of privilege, you know, in in South Africa, in in in, in the U.S., in the U.K. perhaps in, uh, you know. But this is not always the case uh, with the rest of the continent. For instance, there's a there's a lot of anti 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 queer narratives um anti trans anti you know but also beyond beyond even the queer narrative beyond the anti trans narrative they in a on a very basic level there's even a very anti cis women narrative you know and um and so it's it's like when 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 women are needed to 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 march to protest you know they rock up thank you they rock up they, they are asked to come through and and help and let's let's fight this together but then when it comes to leadership when it comes to to being to sitting on the table they can't sit on the table they must be the ones that bring the dish for the men to wash hands the men who are sitting at the table and they must sit at the floor you know so that's the conversation i'd like us to have because it's a it's something that has been happening consistently like throughout all the little victories that we have, you know. Um, for every Angela Davis, there were like 50 Angela Davises that were forgotten, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. But, I mean, that, that's the reality of what we're living in, let's say, Jamaica, that reminds me of Jamaica, is that I think of how has changed spaces, right? How has it come consistently rising up, right? The, 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 the shift in power is
Don't feel me. You can hear me? Come to the internet. I have no idea. You know, it's Debbie. I'm, I'm on the mind. People come home. because you are not the People first person. Work. Everybody's online from the West. Who's having this? I'm of the what? mind that there's a what conspiracy. They don't want you to have the hard conversations with us. Ah! Come back. Come. And thank you, Black Woman <laughs> Therapist. We have to say no and drop the ball. Watch here. Ah, dear. She is really being rude. It's being so rude. Is it back? It's back, Zuki. I think we got it. Are you sure? Got it? I think we got it now. I, don't, I, don't I told you. Let me quick, let me quickly, quickly get it. Zuki. Yeah. Mm. Power built into culture, right? Our dynamics of oppressive power built into culture so that they become cultural norms are not going to shift overnight. And the way that the way that power shifts is we rise up, rise up again, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. It, that, that, that has been the model. Nobody's going to hand over power, especially when it's guised in culture, as this is a cultural mm. norm. Mm. When it's embedded in the cultural norm, so... We have to continue to rise up, continue to rise up, continue to rise up, continue to rise up until that cultural norm is exposed for the fallacy that it is, that it is not a norm, it is actually a, a power dynamic. Absolutely. Yeah, got it in. Mm. Yo, thank you for that. And we actually got to hear it. I know. Internet was trying to shut it down, Zuki. <laughs> Sis, I'm telling you, the man is watching and they're trying to shut us down. <laughs> we won't let them shut us down. <laughs> Still, though, if you think about, even look at, look at the ways in which we are having to fight for this power that we're fighting for right now, for this balance, Look, mm. it is built into the culture, this mm. inhumane treatment of black and indigenous peoples built into the culture. How are we, how have we navigated? We, the power will not be handed. We would have to fight over and over. But also with fighting is a mass re-education project, Zuki. Absolutely. Young people, young people coming up are being taught the same. The very same thing. Project then it will continue. So as we fight, we, re we recognize that a mass re-education process has to be a part embedded in that fight, in that ongoing fight. Absolutely. I know that the fight is tomorrow. No, but beyond that, beyond that, we also have to, we also have to unlearn a lot of the things that we, we grew up thinking that this is the way, because we're raised up in all those cultures, uh, that told us this is what we're supposed to do. So there's this whole... That build it into the culture. But that's what coloniality did. That's what colonization did, Zuki. Does. So excellently, colonization ripped apart the previous cultural fabric and then sewed in its own fuckery and sold that back to us as our culture to claim. Yep. You have preached... You have spoken. Do you have any last words for the congregation? Do you have any last poems? Do you have any last... Listen, listen. I'm Let listening. me just say before I, I do anything. Like, I love you. I love you too, babes. Love you. So much. Love. You're an amazing human being. That's the first thing. Second thing. We are entitled to joy. Yes. Joy. Yes. Joy, 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 joy. However you can get it, get it. Because we deserve joy. Joy is a revolutionary act. 
absolutely 100 percent absolutely and then the third thing i'd like to say is who amongst us carries the safe secrets of loving mm. who our elders or children the ones who walk with the old time knowledge of a healing love mm. and unapologetic love and uncompromising love if you tell me who I will sit studently by the root of their feet because I want to unlearn all of this unknowing that I have come to know. I want to relearn a language of integrity. I want to relearn a language of honesty and, and compassion. These languages were carved on my heart's tongue by ancient, ancient, ancient ones who somehow I have forgotten. It's like somewhere between a dream and timelessness across the ocean waters, our sons and and daughters, our mother and fathers, auntie, uncle, sister, and brother, they stretched the love's fabric thick and thin. So now here you are, I am, we are trodding, trying to heal these scars of wars, these scars of broken fiber that stick up inside our way like maca. Who amongst us? Mm. Who amongst us carries the sage secrets of loving? Where are our elders? Where are our children? The ones who walk with the all-time knowledge of a healing love, an unapologetic love, an uncompromising love, our honest love. If you tell me who I will sit, I will sit still the rivers of their feet because one, all of this unknowing that I have come to know. I want to relearn a language of integrity and, and honesty and compassion because these languages were carved on my heart's tongue by ancient ones who somehow, somewhere, sometime, I, me, we, have we forgotten? Have we? Have we? Hopefully not. Listen, forgive me for not having loved you relentlessly. Forgive me. My lack of self-knowledge, in all cases, fear has been my worst enemy. Were fear not here, I would kiss you and feed you food from my soul and stop you from aching and share a smile, maybe even wait with you by the roadside for a while. Were fear not here, I would give name to all of the same spaces of accountability and responsibility responsibility that flows like ribbing us sometimes silent but always deep we're fear not here the full moon radiance of your vulnerable and warrior spirit washing over me like like the sun bathed in truth would mirror and i would shine and you would shine in fact we all would shine because we all can shine because we all do shine radiantly black in darkness we all shine brilliantly but who amongst us carries those safe secrets of loving i cannot promise to love you fearlessly not when there is fear all around inside outside below above in me but you know you know my people i can love you courageously in spite of all my fear. My people, I can love you with honesty. I can love you with integrity. Because it's a healing, my, my people. Love is our healing. My people is a he healing love. Rebranching itself like the roots of the ancient, ancient tree in a magical forest with irokos and baobabs whose roots are like branches outstretched to the promise of tomorrow my people here now today you and i we we the ancestors we the present we the children we the people we the planet we the universe we the omniverse we are everything and we are nothing <laughs> we are everything and we are nothing we are matter and energy we are spirit and the earth manifests. We are everything and nothing. So what are we going to do with our time? What are we going to do with our time, my people? What are you going to do with your time on this planet? What are you going to do with your time? What is dumb? 
What is freedom? Uru, emancipation. What is love? My people. Love. Thank you so, so, so much. But before you go, and this is a very important question for all of us. Yes. Where in the Caribbean, in the Americas, in Europe, mm -hmm. most importantly, in Africa, where do yes. we get your work? How do we access it? Yes. And you know what? My work is available online because, you know, we're trying to be the... We're trying to be what we actually all are, which are citizens of the entire planet because we come from the planet. Hello. So my work is available online. You know, that's where I'm at now. I live in the cloud. <laughs> live in the cloud. <laughs> you jazz <just> me. <laughs> and to you, the Afro-Lit family, to the congregation, to the people who've been here since season one, Thank you so much. Um, this has been a wonderful season. And thank you, DB. This was an amazing closing way. And uh, we are, I think, going to, by public demand, going to have one more. One more. And that's going to be, we're going to kick off on the 27th of July and end on the 3rd of August. So we're going to, I already have some very exciting and interesting names that will be joining this platform. So please, please, please be here and please thank DB. Let's say thank you to DB again for being with us. And love I you. love you, Dibs. Love you, love you, Zeki, Zeki. Zeki, Zeki, look what I... Yes, what babes. I <laughs> Let me see. I can't see. Your, your camera is off. Where did I go? Oh, you don't have it on. Where did I go? How do I? How do I go back to? No, do do, do do. I think there you are. Ah! <laughs> Love boy. <laughs> Every day, basically. Every day, I wear the videos. Ah, you're a rock star. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, my sister. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Absolutely. <laughs> Be safe. You too. You too. All right.